Hello and welcome to the Retinal Realities Podcast, brought to you by Roche Products. Today is International Chess Day, and in honor of this, we have invited a very special guest to join us today. His name is Luzuko Ngwevela, and he is a blind chess player. Chess is a game that requires strategy, tactical awareness, and patience. I'm Manny Mudli, and let's jump right into the interview. I can just ask uh, your visual condition. Um, what, what condition do you have? And uh, when did you first become aware of your visual condition? I have an RPD eye condition. Yes, I developed it in, a, in my younger years, but I started from 1998, uh, actually, but uh, didn't start it there, but I uh, started a few years back, so maybe uh, and if I have 96 uh, along, along those years. But I uh, started uh, exactly 1998 until now, so... Okay. And... When did you develop your interest in chess? In chess, I developed in, uh, in 2006 because I was playing in lots of other sports so when I grew up. So, uh, you see, I was in that and I played like I just enjoy rugby, but I love cricket also. But I saw some that I couldn't, I couldn't play uh, one of those sports. So, then I developed an uh, interest in chess. Because there's a one, uh, there was a one grandmaster there. There was an Oster. He was called by the name uh, Ray Okat, but it's now late. So he introduced me to the chess, to brain chess. Okay. So he told me how to play chess, and uh, then from since then I would play chess around the uh, Oster and then uh, places like uh, Wellington. Uh, or playing here in Cape Town also, and then uh, play uh, with different peoples. So some are uh, sighted, some are not sighted, so yes. Okay, yeah, that was my next question. Did you play against sighted or non-sighted or uh, both? Yes, I play with both, okay. sighted and not sighted. Okay, and do you play competitions as well uh, in your chess journey? Yes, I do play uh, some competitions on my ch- uh, chess journey, so yes. Okay, and, and, and these competitions, are they made up of both sighted and visually impaired? Yes, they do. All right. And your board, do you bring this along with your special wooden chess board to tournaments? Yes, I do. Provide, uh, I bring my board all, 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 wherever I go to the tournaments. But wherever, there's, if you don't have a board, the organizer would uh, organize the, the tournament. They also have an extra board set so for the Extra player doesn't have his own board, so they borrow the board for the for the day. Okay, so so would you say then the the chess competitions are quite accessible and uh, accommodating of people with visual impairments or blind people? Yes, there's a braille area also in the in the tournament. They call the they call the braille sections on the tournament. There's a one the C section and the braille section. So they they divide it to to two sections in the one tournament. If the tournament if there's a lots of people, they divided the tournament in two divisions. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Now, Luzuko, what devices do you use in your everyday life that uh, you find useful? Uh, it's uh, so I do my Skype and I have uh, my top back on my phone. If I have a computer, I will have a uh, JAWS or NVDA, one of those two. So it will be fine if to, to use this. No, that's uh, very helpful. So you, you play chess uh, over Skype as well? Yes, I do play chess over Skype also as well. Okay. And which do you prefer, the face-to-face uh, physical or the virtual chess? Um, both are very interesting. So, mm. But when you play over the board in the tournament, you get to know the people and you get to know how uh, you meet friends and they're so small. We can't really say which one is best or which one is mm. the best because they also have their own different way. Okay, no, thanks. Then uh, you mentioned that you are also involved with other activities besides chess. What other interests do you get involved with? Yes, it's my blind cricket and goalball. I used to play uh, discuss also. I suppose I do it in the moment. It's goalball and chess and cricket. Okay. Blind cricket is. 
Oh, that's okay, great. And do you have any message for our listeners that which you think would help them in their day-to-day lives? Yes, I will advise them to believe in themselves and to seek for help if they want to, because they won't get help if they sit in one place. And because the help is out there, but you have to, to stretch out and go to find places. Because now in this year, there's a lot, lots of places where the blind person can be helped. There are lots of schools now. There are lots of organizations that can help a person with a blind problem. Okay, and your brother is with us today, uh, Sivu. He, he brought you along to the interview. What, what would you uh, say in terms of your support system? Do you find that you get a lot of support from family, friends, community, and, and that sort of thing? Yes, yes, they help me all this. They also help me a lot because we have the support system with your family and their friends and their loved ones. Yes, because they have to assist me from point A to point B. So, yes, they have to. Okay. No, thank you very much, Luzuko. It's been wonderful to chat to you. And, yeah, now that you have your board set up here, maybe we can have a quick game of chess and we can test my skills out as well. Okay, thank you very much, Luzuko. Yeah, yeah.